welcome back everyone uh, this video is a uh, second part of uh, how to write your cv in order to get the maximum number of interviews so before i go any further i want to tell you one thing that is uh, really important in the current scenario which is the covid 19 experience so uh, the program directors are asking what you have done during these days during the pandemic whether you have worked as a volunteer or as a intern or as a pg trainee somewhere or as a uh, general physician in helping people suffering from covid 19 because this is kind of a new thing and they want to see uh, where do you stand during that pandemic so it's really important to mention it in your cv also, another uh, place where you can mention your COVID-19 experience is your letters of recommendation. Uh, people with whom you are working currently and who are your supervisors, if you had the experience of uh, treating uh, COVID-19 patients, uh, you can ask them to write something about it uh, in their letter of recommendations for you. In fact, uh, AMA, American Medical uh, Association, has asked uh, the residency program directors to write a paragraph on residents contribution about uh, COVID-19 while they are writing uh, the letters of recommendation for the future uh, incoming fellowship uh, match and fellowship training. So without any further uh, delay, let's talk about our uh, ERA CV. So in the last part, we were at the research experience. The next part is the publications. And in publication, first portion is the peer reviewed journal or articles or abstracts. So in this, uh, you can either write the submitted or the published articles that uh, you have given to any uh, well-known journal. Uh, even if your journal is not included in the PubMed index, you can still write it and it will still count. Other thing is the poster presentation. In the poster presentation, you will uh, write the articles that uh, you submitted and presented at a, a conference in the poster form. Uh, even if you were not uh, the presenter, you can still write it uh, because your name uh, was on the poster. But you can write uh, both posters presented in the United States or in your home country. And uh, no matter how big or small uh, the conference was, it still matters. So the next thing is the oral presentation. Uh, it can be anything. It can be something that you presented in the morning meeting or something you presented uh, at a conference or uh, any review article from a general in uh, your medical school or during internship, observership, anything can work uh, here. But make sure that the topics of oral presentation, uh, you revise them again and again before the interview because you are, uh, it's very likely that people will ask you questions from your oral presentations and uh, ask you what was this presentation about. Uh, next important part is the hobbies and interests. Uh, it's a topic that can generate a lot of interview conversation. So make sure that you, wrote, you write something very interesting in it. For me, I wrote hitchhiking and uh, every time I went for an interview, Almost every program director or the associate program director asked me about hitchhiking and my experiences. It's a very good way to generate uh, conversation and uh, don't write something very cliche like I play basketball, I play uh, baseball, uh, I play cricket which is like really common in subcontinent. So make sure that you write a really interesting hobby uh, that will make the program director and the other interviewees to uh, remember you uh, for a very long time and it will help you uh, in getting a higher rank in the NRMP rank order list. Like one of my friends, uh, he was using couch surfing, which is a kind of a application uh, and he wrote it in his hobbies and whenever he went for the interview, they would always ask for uh, what is couch surfing and one of the person uh, downloaded it in during the interview in front of him and the other program director, uh, he or she was aware of the uh, couch surfing and they discussed at length uh, about their experiences uh, while using the couch surfing application. So the second last thing on the ERAS application is the languages. Uh, so make sure that whatever languages you can uh, speak or understand really well, you write these. It carries little value, but in Florida programs, if you know 
and understand uh, Spanish very well, it can be a, a game changer in your NRMP ranking order list because uh, Florida is full of people from uh, Spanish uh, background and most of these people uh, cannot even speak in English. So they want uh, the residents who are very proficient in Spanish language. Uh, the last thing is the other awards accomplishments in that you can write uh, whatever uh, achievements you have done uh, in your studies or something extracurricular or even not related to your studies as well. Like uh, I uh, uh, won some uh, posters on the World No Tobacco Day. I won a laptop from the chief minister. I wrote it. Uh, I uh, won some uh, short movies contest. So I wrote it and uh, something uh, related to medicine. I was uh, kind of like a uh, best intern uh, in one of my uh, internships. So I wrote it as well. I hope all of these things will help you write in writing a very good CV and uh, will uh, help you getting more and more interviews. Uh, so uh, do let me know in comments which other important topics you want me to discuss. Uh, and please, please, please subscribe and hit notification button for more upcoming content for your upcoming residency journey. Thank you all.